Hello there, uh, Sagittarius. It's Sagittarius rising. This is going to be your October forecast for the month of October. What I want to do is I want to cut these cards. I'm going to put them into quarters. It's going to be two for the first quarter, two for the second quarter, two for the third quarter, and two for the fourth quarter. And we're going to see exactly what's going to go on in terms of your month and in terms of moving forward for you guys, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting these cards, and we're just going to see exactly what wants to come out here. And we're actually not wanting to uh, wanting to use any of those cards because they came out face up. But what we are going to do is just keep on cutting these cards just like this and just see what wants to flop out here for you guys, okay? Oh, there's a card. We're just going to keep on going here. Oh, I actually really like those two cards as well. And we're going to just keep on going here and just seeing exactly what wants to come out for you. Go ahead and just keep on going here. Oh, I really like that card as well. Let's keep on going. And does this have any? Oh, look at that. These two cards right here. And let's see. Oh, there's two more cards right there as well. So let's go ahead and see what is going to go on for you for the month of October. So anyways, the first card coming out here is the Two of Cups saying, oh my goodness gracious, you guys, this is going to be the month for relationships. This is going to be the month to really start feeling love and start experiencing the unity that you honest to goodness deserve. This is going to be a fantastic card to really start sort of kind of exploding your situation and just causing you to feel amazing, feel great, and feel like everything is honest to goodness working out for the best. There's going to be all these wonderful feelings and all these wonderful halos that are just sort of going to really be able to sort of kind of coat your life in happiness. This is going to be a big, 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 big time for relationships for you guys. And honest to goodness, in terms of the first quarter of the month, you guys are just going to be able to see just how much relationships are really going to be a big, 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 big situation in terms of your life. A huge situation. This is going to be all the big, 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 big moments that, that, that you guys have been waiting for, all happening this month, Sagittarius. So if you guys have been waiting for some time for a relationship, this is the time for it. This is the month for it. And this is honest to goodness, the, the, the situation that's just going to sort of kind of blow your, your your month out of the water. So watch out for that most definitely. The next card here is the seven of coins saying that honest to goodness in terms in, in terms of the relationship you are going to get a whole whole lot in return. You're going to get exactly what you have put out into it and honest to goodness for, for a lot of you you guys have put out a lot. So this is going to be a time to really sort of kind of cash in on all on, on, on all of the earned happiness and all on, on, on all of the earned respect and all the and all, all and all, and all all of the earned things that honest to goodness you you have really really deserved. So go out there and really realize that you're really going to be able to sort of kind of grab a hold of this absolute wonderful energy that you've worked so hard for. This is going to be the time to really cash in on all the hard work done in a relationship, guys. This is huge, huge, huge for all of you guys out there that are that are that are in relationships. That, that, need, that need a little bit of cash in, in you guys are going to be able to get it. So this is the month for you, month for, for things sort of kind of just falling into your lap that you guys have been wanting for a long time. So honest to goodness, Sagittarius, look for the relationships because it is a big, big deal this month. My goodness gracious. So yeah, so in terms of seven coins, you're going to be able to get a whole, whole lot in return. Get exactly what you're wanting and get exactly the situations that you have honest to goodness been hoping for, been wanting, and just been been honest to goodness, been, you know, been, 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 been dreaming of, been looking for. This is a huge, huge, huge situation for you guys. The next, the next card here is the King of Cups, saying that honest to goodness, this is going to be a time where you're going to be able to sort of kind of cash in on on emotions and on really being able to refill your emotions. So if any of you guys out there have been sort of kind of feeling a little bit low or draw, this is going to be a time for a lot of emotional happiness, a, a lot of emotional well-being and a lot of absolute wonder, a lot of absolute happiness and a lot of things just sort of kind of having a job well done. There's going to be this absolute wonderful feeling of things going your way this month. And with the King of Cups here, this is going to, mo this is most definitely going to be a no-brainer whenever it comes to you feeling amazing in terms of your emotions. You feel like everything is going right for you and you finally being able to sort of kind of be in control of emotions, being in control of all the happiness that is sort of kind of going to just sort of kind of drop into your lap this month. This is going to be the month though y'all for relationships. Oh my goodness gracious. This is going to be the month for relationships. So honestly it is in terms of second quarter of the month, watch out for that amazing feeling. Watch out for that amazing relationship and watch out for the and just watch out for all the wonderful things that are going to be coming to you because there are going to be some amazing, amazing, amazing things 
coming to you. So honest to goodness, we're going to go ahead and keep on going here and just talk about the Seven of Wands. Now honest to goodness, this is going to be a situation where you're really going to be able to sort of kind of walk through this gate, walk through this wonderful, wonderful feeling and, 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 and really be able to sort of kind of just grab a hold of everything that honest to goodness needs to be grabbed a hold on. You're really going to be able to sort of kind of experience a whole lot of wonder, a whole lot of happiness. And, 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 and honest to goodness, this is really talking about you really walking through this, this, this gate of really being able to feel good in terms of your emotions. You're really going to be able to just sort of kind of grab a hold of it though. And what I really feel like in terms, in terms of the seven of wands here is, is you're really going to be able just to have a lot of fun. Feel like a lot of, a lot of these emotions are honest to goodness, like work for you and just feeling like all these things are going in a positive direction. There we go. She's going in a positive direction. You're going to go in a positive direction too. In terms of the second quarter of the month, it's going to be time for you guys to sort of kind of step through that gate, step through that portal and just feel amazing about, about your relationship, about your love and about what is going on in your life. This is most definitely not all about relationships, but it's most definitely a lot about this life, this lifestyle. that's going to make you feel amazing. So honest to goodness, guys, you better watch out for all this amazing situations that are going to be able to come to you and just feel absolutely fantastic about everything that's going to be coming up in the future. Now, the next card here is the Two of Swords. And honest to goodness, with the Two of Swords coming out here, this is going to be a time to really realize that you're really going to be able to sort of kind of see what's going on in the future. This is a very, very important thing, especially with the Two of Swords coming up with the Two of Cups. This is going to be a time for any type of, for any type of uh, blindfold or any type of thing that has sort of kind of not really been um, been, uh, not really been able to really see in, in the right direction. Well, now you're going to be able to really, really see it. You're going to be able to see it in the right, in, 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 in the, in the, in the, in, in the perfect way. And you're really going to be able to feel the emotion, feel the happiness, feel the situations coming to, coming to fruition for you. And with the Seven of Swords coming out here, this is going to be a time for not only, for not only for your life, but for the relationships too. The blindfold's going to come off and you're going to be able to start feeling great feeling like you should and feeling like everything is working out because honest to goodness guys this is going to be a time for you to start feeling great feeling like everything's working out for you and feeling like the things that that that, that have happened are all for this wonderful reason of just being able to feel great feel like you should Next card here is a Knight of Swords. Now going right next to the Two of Swords here, we're talking about this situation where as soon as this blindfold comes off, as soon as you're able to really start seeing everything in, a, in the happiness and the blissful feeling that it really is, you're going to be able to see that your mind is going to start shooting forward. And shooting forward it will because the Knight of Swords is all about that. It's all about this wonderful energy of really sort of kind of moving away from anything that's negative, anything that's bad, anything that's sort of kind of in a past situation that's sort of kind of not as good as it should be. Well, it's going bye-bye. It's going... It's it's going completely and totally away and you're really going to be able to start seeing all the happiness and all the greatness that's going to be able to come afterwards. This is a very, very, very important thing because especially with the Nine of Swords here, we're really talking about happiness, 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 happiness. We're talking about, we're, we're talking about, we're, we're talking about you really leaving, leaving behind anything negative and really finding, finding out that everything that's so positive is right out, is right, is right outside there, is right, is right in front of you. And honest to goodness, with all these absolutely wonderful situations, you're really going to be able to figure out that these situations are all for the better, all for the happiness and all for the situations that are really, really going to be able to sort of kind of make you feel amazing, make you feel happiness, make you feel like all these, uh, uh, all this, all this other situation is just, it's just, it's just in the past. And, and this is a very, very wonderful thing because honest to goodness, you, you guys are all really continuing in a happiness and in continuing in a great feeling. Oh, continuing in a mindset that's honest to goodness going to be able to keep you away from any type of, any, any any type of danger or any or any type of situations that may potentially um, not be uh, perfect <laughs> or, or, not, or, 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 or not or not or not not be amazing for you. This is going to be an absolutely wonderful situation, though, for you to really be able to sort of kind of power forward, power forward in the right direction, and just be able to get all the situations done in the way that they really, really should be. Because honest to goodness, this is your moment. This is your time to shine, and this is going to be the time for you to really, really be able to experience all the happiness and all the glory that you are most definitely deserved, okay? The next card here is a Seven of Swords saying that, honest to goodness, this is going to be a time for you guys to really be able to get what you want, to be able to really sort of kind of grab a hold of what, exactly the situations that, 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 are, that are needed from you and exactly the situations that are, honest to goodness, needing to be, needing to have this wonderful, like, needing to really sort of kind of be there and be just, be just happy and, and, and just feel like everything is all right. Because with the Seven of Swords here, it's all about that. It's all about this absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful 
energy of just being able to feel great, of feeling like everything is working out for you, of feeling like you're really being able to sort of kind of step into something that's fantastic, hold on to something that's that, that is most definitely worthwhile, and just feel like everything is going great for you because that is exactly what you are wanting, to feel like everything is going great for you, to feel like everything is doing the right way, and this is going to be your time to really realize it here in the fourth quarter. You're going to be able to grab a hold of something very, very wonderful, and you're going to be able just to feel great, feel like everything is honest to goodness working out for you, and feel like whenever you do grab a hold of that situation, you're going to really, really be able to just sort of kind of feel great and feel amazing, and just sort of kind of feel like everything is honest to goodness working out. So the next card here is the Three of Cups, saying that honest to goodness, you're going to be able to feel amazing. You're going to be able to feel like everything is honest to goodness working out for you, and everything is going to go on a right path from here. The Three of Cups is all about that, and it's all about really feeling amazing and feeling that wonderful dancing energy that is all about having fun. You're going to be able to have fun, and everyone around you is going to be able to have fun as well. This is going to be a time to have fun, to start enjoying yourself, to start experiencing the growth and the happiness and the wonder that you are most definitely deserved. And that is most definitely coming at you very, very, very quickly, because you're going to be able to feel great, feel like everything is going your way, and feel like everything is honest to goodness just working out, working out for you and working out for everybody else. So in terms of the, in terms of the fourth quarter of the month, watch out for that wonderful energy of just feeling like everything is going great, okay? See, that's, that's what I most definitely feel for you guys. <laughs> I'm Chris Vatic here, and I also do private readings. I can do $75 for a 60-minute Skype session reading, $50 for a 30-minute Skype session reading, or $35 for a private YouTube session, sort of kind of just like this, but for your specific need or issue. Uh, I'm also doing a sale this month. You can go ahead and contact me at chrisinvatic at yahoo.com or chrisinvatic.com. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for listening to this video and for all of your likes and your comments and your shares and, 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 and your subscribes. And I hope you guys all have an absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing October. Okay? Bye.